John Roberts was already Chief Justice. But now it's his court. To view the full article, click the first link in the description below. Washington in a series of stunning decisions over the past two weeks, Chief Justice John G. Roberts Jr. has voted to expand L. G. B. T. Q. Rights, protect the young immigrants known as Dreamers and strike down a Louisiana abortion law. In all three decisions, he voted with the court's four-member liberal wing. Those decisions hardened progressives and infuriated the Chief Justice's usual conservative allies. But those reactions obscured a larger truth about Chief Justice Roberts, 15 years into his tenure, he now wields a level of influence that has caused experts to hunt for historical comparisons. Roberts is not only the most powerful player on the court, said Lee Epstein, a law professor and political scientist at Washington University in St. Louis. Hess also the most powerful Chief Justice since at least 1937. An incrementalist and an institutionalist, the Chief Justice generally nudges the court to the right in small steps, with one eye on its prestige and legitimacy. He is impatient with legal shortcuts and, at only 65, can well afford to play the long game. To view the full article, click the first link in the description below.